Hi everyone, Antoinette here. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to talk about how to deal with people who always run late. Now, for people who are punctual or people who are always early, this can be a real peeve in professional relationships, personal relationships, dealing with people who always run late. And be sure and stay till the end when I share some research that has been done around people who do always run late. The first way to deal with late people is to not wait on them, to go ahead and start. Whether it's eating, whether it's a discussion, whether it's a meeting, whatever it is, go ahead and start as if they either were there or that you're assuming that they're not coming at all because they're not there. Because what happens is when you always wait for the late person to arrive, then the late person knows that nothing is going to get started until they do arrive. And what happens with everybody else is they either start to get irritated or they will just start showing up late as well, knowing that it's not going to start on time because there's always going to be one or more people who are going to show up late and it's not going to start until everybody gets there. So in essence, we have, we're always training people. We have trained them to know that we're not going to start on something until they arrive. Then they know they don't have to arrive on time. And on the other hand, if we've trained them that if they are late, we're gonna go ahead and start, then they know that they need to be on time or else they are going to miss out. The second way that you can deal with the situation is by letting the person know how their lateness does impact you. You don't want to do it in front of other people. You do want to do it one-on-one -on -one so that you're not embarrassing the person. But just to let them know, hey, when you are running late, this is how it impacts me or this is how it impacts the rest of the group. You don't have to get irritated about it in your tone of voice. You can just tell them the facts. And here's the thing to remember. If the person apologizes, then make sure if it is a habitual lateness that you don't say that's okay or don't worry about it or I understand. Thank them for the apology, but don't excuse the fact that they're always running late just because they've apologized. The third way you can deal with it is by giving that person an earlier start time. So if something is supposed to start at 630 and you know that they're going to be at least 30 minutes late, then you can tell them that it's starting at six. So give them an earlier start time, knowing that they're not going to show up until later. And the fourth way to deal with this is similar, but it's a little creative. And that is to actually start something at a time other than the top of the hour or the bottom of the hour. Because if you tell someone something is starting at six o'clock, in our minds, we tend to think of six o'clock as more of a general time than if we were told that something is starting at 6.15. 6.15 just in our minds seems like a more definite time. So you can try that as well, having something start at a specific minute rather than the top of the hour or the bottom of the hour. And the fifth way to deal with people who are always running late is to just accept it. Sometimes people will say, this friend of mine always runs late, but this friend of mine has such great qualities that it is not worth me making a big deal out of it. It is not worth me pretending that something's gonna start at a time than it is to try to get them there on time. I can just deal with it. And you know, if you're at that point where you can just deal with it without feeling resentful or without really starting to become irritated with that person. And if you're wanting to just deal with it, then be sure and take something of value with you so that while you're waiting on that person, you're not wasting time. Whether, whether it is writing in a journal or whether it's working on your computer or whether it's texting or calling some other friends while you wait or surfing the internet, whatever it is, have a list of things that you're going to do while you wait so that it'll make the waiting that much easier. The other thing to remember about chronically late people is it feels disrespectful. It feels like they're not respecting our time. 
but almost always they're not doing this to us. It's just that's their modus operandi. They just tend to run late. According to a study at Harvard University, people who chronically run late are actually healthier people. They have lower blood pressure and lower chance of having heart disease, probably because they're not in a rush. Now, is there somebody in your life who chronically runs late? And have you discovered a creative way for with dealing with this person? If so, please share that in the comments below so that we can all learn from each other. Thanks for watching.